God is the love I am. 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 God is the peace 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 I am. God is the beauty 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 I am. God is the power 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 I am. God is the wisdom 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 I am. God is the love 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 I am. Let's prepare for our meditation. I invite you to take a slow, deep breath. And as you breathe in, use the mantra, God is. And as you exhale, release fully all the cares of today, relaxing your body from your head to your toes, feeling the chair support you, the solid earth beneath your feet. God is, and as you exhale, use the mantra, I am, breathing in all the miraculous energy of the universe. God is, I am. Feel the love of God in your heart. As your heart opens wide to love, to the love in this room, God is. I am. Allow that love to course through every vein in your body and send healing energy to everywhere that it is needed, releasing all dis-ease, 
God is. I am. Think of someone that perhaps needs some healing. Give that person love, acceptance. Send them love of God, of peace. Shrink them and put them in your heart the safe place where love resides. And as we bask in the knowing that God is, God is good. We are good. God is love. We are love. God is peace. We are peace. God is good. And let us take that, that goodness, and the peace, and rest in the silence knowing that we are the love that we seek. And as we become aware of our surroundings, come back to this present moment, we affirm that we are the perfection that we seek. We are God's love. And we're ready. We're ready to suit up and show up and do what is ours to do as spiritual messengers. Take the time today to be fully present. and to connect with others and to be the love that you are. Amen. Peace be with you.
If I needed you, would you come to me? Would you come to me and ease my pain? If I needed you, would you come to me? I'd swim the seas for the ease of pain. In the night forlorn, oh, the morning's born, and the morning shines with the light of love. You will miss sunrise if you close your eyes. That would break my heart in two. If I need. Would you come to me? Would you come to me and ease my pain? If you needed me, I would come to you. I'd swim the seas for the ease of pain. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. That was beautiful. Well, hi guys. How's everybody? Can you believe it's January 29th already? Wow. It's almost February. Almost Valentine's Day. Wow. Huh. We'll have to go to Hallmark, right? <laughs> Pretty soon. How's your year going so far? Good? Yeah? Awesome. Say again? You're reserving judgment. Okay. All right. Till December. <laughs> Great. Well, you know, I have to share that um, this is the best that I've ever been. Um, I'm so grateful. I am so grateful. Um, I'm healthy. Um, I am prosperous. I am full of love, and I have lots of people that love me. And um, I'm finally a licensed Unity teacher. Yay! Took me 10 years, but finally finally did it, and I'm grateful. Um, but the reason that I'm so full of joy is that I found the answer. I found the answer to heaven. I did. Heaven on earth. I did. 
And you know what that answer is? I'm going to share because that's why I want to be up here talking. I'm so freaking nervous about talking in front of people, but I'm coming up here talking in front of people because I want to share it with you guys. I want you to have everything. I want you to have the peace and love and joy and prosperity that I have. And it hasn't always been like that. I'm telling you, it hasn't always been like that. When I first came to Unity in 1999, I was so broken. Every single service, I would sit in the seat and I would bawl my eyes out. I'd cry because my life was so unmanageable. And I had done everything that I needed to do to be okay but I still wasn't okay. I was struggling. I can't tell you the darkness that I felt. And then I started listening. I started listening to what people were saying and observing what people were doing. And I realized that some of the tapes in my head were different than some of the tapes in your head. And I thought, you're seeing the same thing that I'm seeing, but what you're saying to yourself is different. How could that be? So, I heard a funny story. I don't know if you guys remember who Billy Graham is. Do you guys remember Billy Graham? Maybe not the younger people. We'll, we'll tell you about him later. He was uh, an evangelist um, a long time ago. And um, there was a story about him that he was speaking, he had a speaking engagement in a big city and he was waiting outside of his hotel uh, for his chauffeur to bring his stretch limousine to take him to the airport to go home. So the chauffeur shows up, and um, Billy Graham says, you know, it's been a really long time since I've driven. Do you mind if I drive the stretch limo? I've never driven one. This is something that I'd really like to do. So the driver said, of course. You know, I've always wanted to ride in a stretch limo. I've never got to ride in the back. I've always driven everybody. So how about you drive and I ride in the back? And Reverend Graham said, that sounds wonderful, son. Let's be on our way. So he was familiar with the route, and Billy Graham was in his finest hour just thinking about God and how happy he was to be able to drive this stretch limousine, but he kind of forgot to watch the speedometer. And there was a brand new state trooper, just ready, ready to do his job on his very first day. So he you know, is perfectly dressed, his uniform's pressed, he's got his rule book and all the things that he needs to do, and he pulls over the stretch limo and sees who's driving. He gains his composure, he says, Sir, can I have your license and registration? Billy Graham hands the license and registration. He calmly walks to his car and he calls his supervisor and he's like sir I don't know what to do I just pulled over Billy Graham and he's got a very important passenger and I'm really really not sure what to do and the chief said well who's the passenger and he's like well I don't know and he's like is it is it um, the governor no, it's even more important than the governor. Is it the president? No, even more important than the president. 
Well, who is it? Well, chief, I think it's Jesus because Billy Graham's driving him around town. So definitely it has to be Jesus. So that brings me to the thought of perception. This um, state trooper, his perception was if Billy Graham's driving somebody around in a stretch limo, it has to be somebody important like Jesus, right? That was his truth. And in unity, we say truth is with a lowercase t, we say that that is a changeable thing. You know, something that is something that we see, but maybe not the truth with a capital T, which is unchangeable, is God. Those are God things, divine things. So we saw, the trooper saw this person that they, he thought was Jesus. So for me, what I realized was my perception was off. My truth was off. And it all started when I was a little girl. It all started when I was told things that weren't true. They were little T's. Growing up, my house wasn't a happy house. It wasn't the house that I wanted to grow up in. I wanted to have a different parent than what I had because the one that I had didn't treat me the way that I wanted to be treated. So therefore, out of childhood, I had all these iggly things, these untruths, but they were my truths. I'm not good enough. Work is worth. You may, may be able to relate. The words hurt. They're very painful. And they affect you. They affect everything. Everything about your life. Everything. Your relationships. Your work ethic. Everything. The way you think about yourself. So that's why I was that person in Unity. 1999. A scared little girl, afraid, wanting to be better, but not knowing what to do to get better. Remember I promised I got the secret? If I could share one thing with you that would eliminate needless suffering, would you be willing to try it? Well, I've got the answer. I suffered a long time, 50 years. 50 years I suffered. I tried um, support groups. I tried 12-step programs. I tried different churches, Methodist, Baptist, Catholic, all churches. I tried hypnotherapy, I tried past life regressions, I um, tried everything, but nothing worked. I still felt worthless, not good enough. I still felt empty. They say when you're ready for the answer, the teacher will appear or something like that. I might get it, got it a little off, but something like that. So I decided that I was going to start taking classes at Unity. 
I was going to church. That was the problem, going, not investing, right? I was there, like, to feel good. I went on Sunday to feel good. But I didn't do anything else the whole rest of the week. So I started taking classes. Years and years went by. Finally, the teacher appeared in the form of Paul Hasselbeck. He was the dean of Unity School of Christianity, and he now is um, a minister that teaches. He goes around the nation and teaches metaphysics. He actually wrote the book, Heart-Centered Metaphysics, that we as licensed Unity teachers and ministers learn from. So I figured he was pretty much the expert, right? I'm going to listen to him. So he told me about denials and affirmations. And at first, when I had heard about denials, I thought, well, denial, that sounds negative, so I don't want that in my life. I'm just not going to do that. I'll just do the affirmations. So what I realized is all that stuff that was in me that I believed, and it was even stuff that I believe, and Charles Fillmore, the co-founder of Unity, has said, it's part of our race consciousness. It's part of our DNA. There's things in us that we believe in that were generational. Generation after generation after generation have come to us as our truth, our little T. So how do, you, how do you let that go? Well, the first step is awareness. I was holding on to a resentment toward my family member in the form of hatred. Disease causes disease. It doesn't matter what someone has done to you. You have the choice. You have the choice to set boundaries, to step away, or to be full in. I needed to be able to let it go. My choice was to be full in. I wanted a relationship with my parent, the one that had not treated me so kindly, that withheld love to control me, that withheld, there were times when they didn't talk to me for years because I did something they didn't like. But I still, I wanted to forgive. So Paul said, the willingness is the first step. The second step is to be able to clear that from your consciousness in the form of a denial. So my denial was my mother's words and actions have no power over me. And you say it like you're sweeping away cobwebs. You just gently release that. And you follow it with what you want to replace it with. Because once you let all those cobwebs go, they're going to come back. And you want to be able to be very precise as to what you want to fill that space up with. So my affirmation was, my mother is perfect, whole, and complete. Paul said to say this whenever you thought about that person. In the morning, when you wake up, when you look at yourself in the mirror, at lunch, at dinner, in the evening, say your affirmation. Don't go to bed with, with negativism. Say your affirmation and rest on that. Visualize that. And that's exactly what I did. And eventually, all of that hurt and pain 
and anger dissolved into nothingness. And I no longer felt hatred, resentment. I felt love. And that's a miracle. That is a miracle. My mom was diagnosed with terminal lung cancer, and um, she had treatment. And then when COVID started, she decided not to do treatment anymore because it was just too much for her. And she did well for many years after that. But about a year ago, I could see that she was declining. Um, I, I've been a nurse for 42 years. Um, that's my background, and I wanted to help my mom. So I was healed, but it was my mom's choice whether or not to let me in or not. And what I did is use Unity Principle 3. I changed my thinking, and I changed my life. I thought of my mom as only love. And I'd go over there occasionally and see her. And eventually, she softened. I don't know how it happened. It just happened. She softened. And the, sometimes I'd go over there, and she would let me comb her hair. And I'd help her bathe. and put lotion on her body. And I'm telling you, when you are caring for someone, there's nothing more pure than the t feeling, the touch, you know, the feeling of love through touch. And eventually, she started letting me pray over her and do Reiki, and we meditated. Are you kidding me? And she told me she loved me. That's all I wanted, was to be loved by my mom. And it happened. And I said I wasn't going to cry. So my mom died on... September 30th, and I am so grateful for the healing that I received, and I know with 100% certainty that I wouldn't have been able to let that go without unity, without the principles that unity has taught me. And the reason that I'm standing up here today is because I want that for you. If there's someone in your heart that needs forgiving, I ask you to think about your feelings and your thoughts about them. Are they in alignment with love? And God, the unchanging principles of life, are they your little t, your perception? Are you willing to let that go, to have peace in your life, to experience heaven on earth? Are you? I invite you to practice denials and affirmations. Play with them. Create some of your own. See what they can do through you, for you. Or maybe for somebody else. 
or for the world? Say them over and over until they resonate with life and love and you feel that connection with all that is. The connection with God's life. Always present. Always new. Always expressing as you. Namaste. Thank you, Sandra. I feel like the whole world needs to hear that message right now. We need to be sending out a lot more love and a lot less hate into the world. So thank you, Sandra. <clears throat> now it's time to take your offering in your hand as we say the blessing together. And don't forget that while the, our guests are playing the music, you can bring your offering to the Hope and Compassion Basket up front. Divine love through me blesses and multiplies all that I am, all that I have, all that I give, and all that I receive. Thank you, God.
down by me Thank you Thank you, thank you, Spirit, for all of these generous gifts. We so appreciate them to help keep this church open and going because this is our church home and we are so grateful to have it and to be here. And so it is. Amen. Thank you. Margie, you can stay right here. The chaplains are going to be up front to help you pray. <laughs> okay. Yes, we got to keep this place going so we can keep spreading messages like the one Sandra gave us this morning. Now we're going to stand and say the prayer for protection together. <clears throat> the light of God surrounds us. The love of God enfolds us. The power of God protects us. The presence of God watches over us. And wherever we are, God is and all is well. And we bless, we have some children this morning. So we're going to sing to the children. You are walking as the light, as the light, as the light. You are walking as the light, as the light of God. As light, as the light, as the light, as the light. As light, as the light, as the light of God. You are walking as the love, as the love, as the love. You are walking as the love, as the love of God. As love, as the love, as the love, as the love, as love, as the love, as the love of God. You are walking as the joy, as the joy, as the joy. You are walking as the joy, as the joy of God. As joy, as the joy, as the joy, as the joy, as joy, as the joy, as the joy of God. on earth and now it begins with me now there is peace on earth the peace that was meant to be with God as creator united all are we now we walk with each other in perfect harmony Peace has begun with me, and this is the moment now. With every step I take, let this be my joyous vow. To take each moment to live, each moment in peace eternally. Now there is peace on earth, and now it begins with 